Hi everyone, it's Tremia, and I'm going to start going over all my information that I have received on the stem cell transplant. Um, I'm doing this out of Chicago, Illinois from the Northwestern University Division of Immunotherapy and my transplant specialist is Dr. Richard Burt. And um, this is the consent form that we received and I believe it's like 15 pages. 15 pages full of information of what my life is going to be like over the next three months. Um, but it's, uh, the project title is cyclophosphamide, which is cytoxin, and rituximab, rituxin, and RATG in patients with systemic lupus erythematosus. This is a phase two clinical trial. And I'm going to read this one paragraph because it, it, it'll take me just a minute to read it, but it explains the study. It says, what is the reason for doing this study? You are being asked to participate in this research study because you have systemic lupus erythematosus that is not responding to standard treatment. This disease is believed to be due to immune cells cells which normally protect the body but are now attacking your own tissues. This study is designed to examine whether treating you with high-dose chemotherapy followed by the return of your previous collected stem cells will result in improvement in your disease. Stem cells are undeveloped cells that have the capacity to grow into mature blood cells which normally circulate in the bloodstream. The purpose of the intense chemotherapy is to destroy the cells in your immune system, which may be causing your disease. The purpose of the stem cell infusion is to produce a normal immune system that will no longer attack your body. The study purpose is to examine whether this treatment will result in improvement in your disease. Um, what we'll do if I choose to do this study, which we are, as a participant in this study, you'll be asked to come to Northwestern Memorial Hospital and the offices of the Northwestern Medical Faculty Foundation. Your participation in this study will last for five years and will involve a minimum of two hospitalizations and ten clinic visits. There may be unforeseen hospitalizations and or clinic visits depending on your medical condition following the study treatment. So, that is the whole stem cell study in a nutshell. Um, it explains, you know, you know exactly what the stem cell transplant is, and you know what we're, our expectations are, and everything. Um, so, it's you know we'll be going back and forth over the next five years. And so, you know, we'll have medical expenses and everything over the next, over my, over the lifetime, really. But definitely, you know, travel and all that kind of expenses over the next five years. Um, there's just so much. I mean, the, this consent form, then there's this, which is... 50 some pages, 53 pages, and this tells me, it's a patient handbook, and it basically tells me how I'm going to live the next year of my life. It tells, you know, about the transplant, what's going to be happening, and then what we'll have to do um, over the next year, because when I leave the hospital, it's not all done and over with. Um, and that's going to be one of the questions, you know, I'm going to definitely ask and, you know, want some response on. Um, because he told me, you know, don't, I'm not going to be walking out well. So, my, you know, it's going to take time for my body to recuperate, to heal itself. And he said that's a minimum of one year, if not two. So, 
you know, how am I going to, what, you know, what condition can I expect to walk out since I'm going in in poor condition? You know, will I walk out worse, the same? Since I'm already in a bad condition, might I be a little bit better? You know, so I'm going to ask, that's, that's on my question list to ask him on Monday. <laughs> I was like, you know, how am I, you know, because I want to walk out of the hospital. I don't want to be wheeled out in a wheelchair. But anyway, I'll go over this with you guys with some of the stuff in there. Um, I just, we got facts to us. This is 15 pages. This is my scheduling for the next two weeks, I believe. Next three weeks of all my testing that I'll be going through. It uh, tells me where I gotta be, when, and you know what tests they're gonna be doing. Um, this was a calendar that they gave us initially. It's just kind of like a this isn't my actual calendar, but it's just one that they show you. It's an example of like, this is when this is going to happen and so forth. So we kind of had an idea like, okay, we can figure out on our own calendar. This is like when I'm going to be inpatient, but now I have the real thing. I don't have to refer to that anymore. And here's like information for the families and it gives us uh like, you know, what hotels they recommend, um, you know, uh, tells us, like, where the grocery stores are down by the hospital, um, you know, just, it's, it's information for families from families that had already done transplants, and it gives you information, you know, that you need to know that you that you'll want to know you know like where's the movie theater um you know where where can i go where's a nice place to go shopping where's the grocery stores where's walgreens and it has all that kind of information in there because when you're downtown chicago it surprised me because according to this i was walking past grocery stores walgreens movie theaters and i had no idea you know there's these great big tall you know, high-rise buildings, and I just figured they were biz business, you know, like lawyer, doctor kind of places. I didn't realize there was a grocery store on the fifth floor <laughs> or in the basement or that there's a movie theater, you know. I had no idea that that stuff was there, yet, yet now I know, so we'll be having some, I'll be having some fun. Uh, it's not going to be all business. Tremia's going to go and Dwayne, oh, he, already, he told me last night that he made um, dinner reservations for us for Valentine's night at, you know, our favorite restaurant is Texas Day Brazil, and which there's one right there by the hospital. And so he called and made our reservations for Monday night. So we got, he already got Valentine's all ready for Chicago. And um, I'm ready for my good food. I love Texas Day Brazil's salad bar. It is just the best. Um, so anyway, we fly out of here Sunday. I don't know our time yet. You know, we are doing the angel flight. Um, so we are limited on our bags and all that kind of stuff and so I'm gonna have to pack lightly I really got to figure out what I need and what I don't need what I can buy in Chicago I'll buy in Chicago instead of packing it we're gonna fly from Oklahoma City to Columbia Missouri and then there we'll switch planes and pilots and go from Columbia into Chicago into, um, not O'Hare, the other one, Mid Midway. I, I can't remember the name of it. But we'll fly into there and then we'll do a taxi and we'll be staying in the Seneca Hotel in which I will post 
the address um, because I've had a lot of people wanting our address and I will love hearing from everybody. It, it will be wonderful. And even when I'm in the hospital, uh, our, our hotel is going to stay. Our, we're still going to have our room at the Seneca because my caretaker will have to have that room because there's there's a pull-out bed that they a couch they can stay in my room but they're not allowed to use my restroom or my shower due to germs and so they have to have a, a, a place to where they can go and bathe and um, relax and everything so the Seneca you know will be paying rent on that for three months and stay in there in which it is, uh, I'm happy, <laughs> I'm not happy with how much it cost, it, it finally sunk into me and it kind of frightens me because the first month is $3,100, the second and, 30, second and third month is going to be like $2,700 because the second and third month will be considered Chicago residents, so we'll get the lower tax and so the rent, so it'll go down. And it's finally sinking into me how much money that really is. I mean, because if you just round it all off, it's $9,000. $9,000. And so that's sinking into me, and that's scaring the crap out of me. That's a, that's a lot of money. A lot of money. Um... But the hotel, it's a very, it'll be a nice hotel room. Um, it's actually a small one-bedroom apartment. Um, it has a full kitchen, which will have all of our utensils, um, stove, refrigerator, dishwasher, microwave, toaster, all of our forks, knives, and spoons, plates. We just have to provide the food and be able to cook it. <laughs> And then a living room with a pull-up couch. That's where Vanessa and Carrie and Sarah, all the caretakers will be sleeping on the couch. And um, there's a full-size TV in there. And we also have Wi-Fi so I can keep up with all my vlogs. And then in the bedroom, it's a king-size bed. And the apartment does have two different bathrooms because, again, you know, we can't share bathrooms. Um, and my bathroom has the roll-in um, showers because I, you know, I can't just, I can't take a bath. I have to have a shower and it has a stool in there for me to sit on. It's, it's handicap accessible. And my bedroom has a TV in it also, so... I can go in and just, when I need peace and quiet, I can just lay down and rest. And it has daily maid service. And they're trained in cleaning for transplant patients. So it's all worth it, I guess. Um, it has to be. We looked at other places, like at apartments, and they were less, but we would have to get the electricity connected, you know, get the cable connected, the water turned on, you know, all these things. And then, but then we had problems like it, subleasing. People will not do like three months. They want six months. And so, you know, the doctor's office knew what they were talking about when they recommended the hotel, Seneca Hotel, because it meets the needs of the transplant patients in the other places we searched we researched on the internet like you'd not believe and you know nothing work would work out because of the time frame the limited time frame and the needs that need to be met um, as, you know for the for us being there as a transplant patient and um, so when we fly in Sunday, we'll be going to the Seneca, and that's going to be home for three months. 
um, uh, unless I'm inpatient in the hospital. Dwayne's going to be with me the first week. Then the next two weeks, um, Vanessa's going to be with me. And then Dwayne comes back for a week. And then there's a week in there, like the fifth or sixth week, they say that if I'm feeling well enough, I can make a trip home. But that some of the patients can, some of the patients can't. And I, it, that week is Sheldon's spring break week. So it actually, you know, it works out very well. I don't know if I'll be coming back home or if Sheldon will be coming to Chicago. Um, I'd really like him to be able to visit Chicago and experience that. But the, what's making the decision tough is Buddy. I won't be able to see Buddy if Sheldon comes to Chicago. That'll be my only chance and I'll miss out on seeing Buddy. How can we love little furry things so much? <laughs> uh, I wish he just could go with me. I want to go get him like one of those work dog orange vests that, you know, like like he's like one, my helper dog and put it on him <laughs> and say, you know, because he's tame enough and say, you know, he he helps me. He has to be by, by my side. Anyway, I've thought about it. Don't put it past me. I might do it. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video with us flying out and making it into Chicago because I already did 17 minutes of yakking. Um, got my hair cut. Josiah left. It's really, if you can tell, I don't know. You can see how my face is so swollen. And you can see my swollen back too but we did a really sharp edge I didn't do the pixie cut I chickened out but when my hair starts growing back out it'll be in a pixie automatically so I'll do it then oh and Cheryl fingernails um so next video I, I, I'll do I'll talk about my scheduling and all the testing that I'll be going through. I'll go through all this paperwork with you. And it'll be a lot more talking. See you in the next video.